For right now, however, I think probably we're going to be just, uh, you know, finishing up tonight's stream maybe with some more questions like we did last time. Um, we did, uh, you know, I did get some questions together that people had been sending me and then we, you know, we went over it and we saw what, uh, you know, just figured out how they should be answered maybe. And maybe we'll do that right now just, uh, just to finish things off. So I guess let's get some music going. Some background music happening. Okay, so first question. Well, this is not really a question, but something that was sent in a little while ago to me. Anonymous said, in August 2013, Bully Demise entered my life. Something about his story touched me and motivated me to get serious about running. Yes, it was kind of a silly wrestling game. Yes, the subsequent stuff had little to do with fitness. But did that matter? No. Because it was still about chasing dreams. On my playlist was Bully's theme, later joined by Big Shout's theme, and tracks from the YouTube library. I've run three half marathons, and we'll run a marathon next month. Life is strange. But thanks, SGF. Well, I'm glad to see that Bully Demise being inspirational to people beyond his death. Because what better gift could there be for Bully Demise than inspiring people to improve themselves, to, 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 to get fit? to do what they want to do bully demise that's it, bully demise would be happy to know that that you chased your dreams and that you have you have gotten into shape you've started running and that you have you've run three half marathons i hope the full marathon goes well bully demise himself would never be able to run a, a full marathon because of course he would get distracted long before the marathon was over like he would he would he would run for a few minutes and then he would probably see something on the side of the road that gets his attention, like a small dog or something. And he, he's just not cut out for running a marathon. But I'm happy to I'm happy to read this account of, of Bully Demise and the effect that Bully Demise can have on the human spirit. Next question. D4, S2, never ever? I mean, it's unfortunate that we really have not been getting anything concerning D4 Season 2. Um, the only thing we ever saw about D4 Season 2 was when Swery posted a screenshot from it back when the uh, Season 1 was released on the PC. But since then, Swery, I believe, did have to take a sabbatical due to, due to medical issues. And he, he still posts a lot on Twitter, but I don't actually know if he's act actively working right now. And uh, or if anyone is even working on season two right now, it's it's hard to say. So there have been things that have been getting in the way of the development of season two. Of course, when D four originally went into development, it probably seemed like uh, it probably seemed likely that they would be able to make multiple seasons of this thing because hey, it was being funded by Microsoft, right? I mean, that's they're they're as big as you get. So yeah, they were gonna make this this episodic game uh, published by Microsoft for the Kinect because Microsoft wanted people making Kinect games. Seemed like a pretty safe bet, but then things went south uh, for Microsoft. People did not like the Kinect, and Microsoft decided, well, maybe let's not do the Kinect anymore. So Swery was kind of left out in the cold with his Kinect game. And then it didn't sell very well on the Xbox One. Then it was published on the PC by Playism. Didn't sell so great there at either, I think. At least as far as I believe, it, it, the sales were not so great about that. So, Swery's still digging at that uh, Season 2, but who knows when or if Season 2 will ever come out. We can only hope. And then, of course, his, his health issues don't don't help at all either. I would only assume that if uh, Season 2 was not on hiatus before Swery left, he pro it probably is now while he's recovering. Um, so, yeah, it's really, yeah, that's right. Uh, Wicked Virgin, his dream of eating popcorn while playing games. It's correct. If you remember, Swery's original intention for D4 was that you would be able to sit down, you know, in your, in your chair, in your living room, with a bowl of popcorn and and play the game without touching a controller so you wouldn't get the grease and the butter on the popcorn from the popcorn onto the controller so that was his intention with d4 but again things really did not turn out so well in that direction so hopefully we do see season two one day but who knows when that is ever going to happen 
Um, Swery is such a genuinely sweet guy. It's true, Bird Robot. It's really sad to see that his projects haven't worked out so well. Um, even though I've enjoyed them, they don't they don't sell so much. Unassuming, what were him, what were his medical problems? I don't remember now. I I should be able to remember that. He's mentioned it a little bit on Twitter, but I don't remember why it is that he's taking his little break. Um, but we can only hope that we see more D4. I don't, I don't play too many episodic games myself. Um, like, I'm playing... I was playing D4, of course. The other one I would have been playing was um, Dreamfall Chapters. Did someone suggest that Swery has cancer? I'm pretty sure it is not cancer. I'm pretty sure it was not something that, ser that serious. I don't think it was. I think I would remember if that was what it was. But, um... Yeah, Nobo, he can't have beer or carbs right now. Yeah, he has some dietary restrictions. Friend of Yinkin hypoglycemia. That sounds more likely. That sounds more like what, what it was that he said he had. Um, oh, that's True Bird Robot. He directed the eighth level of mobile game Peter Panic. I have not played Peter Panic as of yet because it is iOS only. It is not on Android. Maybe someday it will be and I'll be able to see what it was that uh, he did on that. Hooli Bully Sweary loves drinking. It's true. He has mentioned on Twitter that it's kind of rough that he's had to cut down on his uh, alcohol intake. He does like drinking. Um, but yeah, hopefully Sweary does get better and hopefully he is able to continue on making D4. Though with the sales as they were, it's really hard to say whether we're ever going to see anything from that. So I don't know. Not a very happy answer, but uh, so far I don't think we should count on D4 Season 2. Next question. Can I have, like, I don't know, $5 maybe? Sure. There you go. Next question. Are you a furry? What's your fursona like? Well, chat, I, I guess I would let you make this decision. Uh, what would my fursona be? I'm sure the chat knows a lot more about that than, than I do. Um, so you can probably decide what my what my fursona uh, would be. Uh, I, I'm not sure myself. I haven't really given much thought to it. Um, so unfortunately, I do not have a substantial answer for th for this questioner. Next question is, would you ever do an LP together with someone else? Uh, I don't know. I, I do prefer doing videos just on my own just because I'm able to do them on my own schedule. I frequently um, are not able to fit in with other people's schedules. Um, so I really haven't done any, any collaborations with others. I wouldn't necessarily be against it, but I think that I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to these videos, so I think that I would, I'd want it to be with someone who I would already feel like I would have a good rapport with. So, uh, I, I don't really have any plans to do LPs with other people. I wouldn't necessarily be against it, though, if I felt that if it was the right person, you know, it's, you know, it's like doing an LP with someone is like, is like being on the first date. It's like getting into a relationship. You, you look on, on the profile on, on OkCupid and they put up their profile saying that they're into LPing horror games, low budget horror games. And I'm thinking, oh, that might sound all right. And, uh, and then, you know, you see where things go from there. But uh, as for right now, I don't really have any intentions to LP a game with someone else. Faffy, so I just do that bumble voice for the whole hour. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. Chips, I've been pretty, I've been pretty good at keeping schedules lately. Well, thanks. Um, I have been able to do... Uh, you know, I'm usually able to keep the weekly stream schedule. Um, I've been not bad at getting the witness videos up every week speaking of which i did upload the witness the latest witness video before this stream so by the time the stream is over it should be finished rendering should be able to make it public so once the stream is over witness should it should be time for witness hopefully hopefully there's nothing wrong with the with the video after i've uploaded it and now i'm trying to keep it also a schedule with night cry um i have been doing preparations for a while now for another traditional LP 
though I still need to get back to that um, because I'm trying to do like little epilogue segments at the end of the videos like uh, like I did for Enemy Zero and those can take some time to research and put together once I've done those I feel I'll feel confident about being able to start the LP and uh, and actually be able to keep a weekly schedule on that so we'll see when that happens it's been taken it's been t I've intended to start the next LP for a while now I intended to start it before now but uh, it's been taking a while to get that to get that coming up. Aretsis, you weren't sure if The Witness was the next LP? No, the Bumblings are not the LP. The Bumblings are just fun little blind L blind playthroughs, blind LPs that I've been doing. Um, just because, you know, I wanted to play these games. I thought they could be fun, fun to make videos of. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's not a it's not the actual next LP. Dorian X, you watched the last part of Bumbling with your family. Yeah, get the whole family together around the TV and watch me be bad at video games. It's fun for the whole family. It'll bring you together. Drow Zebra, Bumbling equals blind LP defined by me. Yeah, that's kind of kind of what it is. I didn't I didn't really want to call the Witness videos Let's Play the Witness because that would give you a different idea on what the video was considering what I when I call a video a let's play what it usually is so that's why I used a different name just for organizational reasons so you would know what the kind of video it is next question have you ever looked into the world of Los Luchadores um, I mean, I have seen Lucha Libre before, and actually I've just, uh, recently started watching Lucha Underground, where, uh, which is a pretty fun show, it's a pretty interesting show, it's something I've been intending to watch for a while, but, uh, I've never, there's never really been an easy way of watching the entire series, like, you can see highlights of it on, on YouTube, but I didn't want to watch it unless I was able to watch the whole thing whole series and recently they have uh made it available to purchase on itunes so i, I bought it like season one so i'm watching that it's fun it's an inter it's an interesting take on wrestling i was considering maybe doing little review videos of those episodes of lucha underground just to go over what happens on that show because it's it's kind of interesting I think that could probably make for some fun fun little videos, but uh, I would have to think about how that would go. Lucha Underground basically is like a... It's a wrestling show that really embraces the fact that it is a TV show and not trying to pretend to be a sports event. Um, it's, it's kind of how I would describe it. Next question, how do you feel about production value in YouTube, Let's Play, etc.? Personally, I've always felt anything above 480 to 720p and competently put together was fine, so long as the content was of quality. Do you think higher production values are overused to mass poor content? What limits do you find personally satisfactory to present to us Stram, 720p, 30fps, etc.? And what makes you feel that way? Does it vary by game? Say X-Plague versus Bioshock Infinite? Well, the parameters of the stream are, uh, well, 720p is the resolution. It goes at 60 FPS, uh, which I, ch I switched to ever since YouTube started supporting it. Previously, it was 30 because, you know, YouTube only supported 30, so there was really no reason to go 60. <laughs> Friend of Yinkin, would I kill a man to get more viewers? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Get all the viewers on Hitbox. Number one stream on Hitbox. Murdering someone. Anyway, the stream is 720p, 60 FPS. Um, now, as for whether or not games actually need that, it really depends. A lot of DOS games don't need it. A lot of DOS games don't run at 60 FPS, but the entire stream, it runs at 60 just for consistency. I'm not. I'm not actually don't know about Escape from Bug Island. I don't know. I haven't really thought about what the frame rate of this game is. Um, but like, say something like Sin and Punishment was 60 FPS, and like Zelda 2 being an NES game, run it ran at 60. Um, 
Shadowhog, some DOS games run at 70. It's true, they have erratic frame rates, but I think most of the games we've been playing have not run at 60. Even, uh, like Doom. We haven't played Doom, but even that game does not run at 60. I forget what its exact frame rate is, but I think it actually runs at under 30 FPS. I'm talking about vanilla Doom, not the source ports on Windows, but actual vanilla DOS Doom. Cut slow, I'm the number four stream on Hitbox right now. Oh, how prestigious. The number four stream on all of Hitbox.television. Spade, Samael, there's that one flight sim demo we played that was less than F5 FPS. It's true. Um, but some games do run at 60. Not everything does. So, like, I don't think the 3DS game we played tonight ran at 60. But, you know, sometimes a game does run at 60, and if it does, you know, because of that, I do want the stream to run at 60. Uh, as for Xblig, the Xblig videos are 720p, 60 FPS themselves, because that's what most Xblig's run at. Well, most Xblig's run at 720p. And there are a number of games that run at 60. Um, I've no, I don't... The, the question about... Um, our production values used to mask poor content. I don't. I can't really think of having seen something like that. I'm not really sure what that would be referring to. I don't think generally it does. Um, I, I can't really think. Well, granted, I don't. I don't watch too many LPers. I don't watch a whole lot of people. But um, I can't really think of an example of someone who I would say I. It seemed like was using high production values to mask poor content. Bird robot. Am I going to inflict more cartoon surgery? Flash games. Well, it sounds like someone is asking. I do get requests to play more of those games. Believe it or not, there are people who want to see more surgical procedures on the sisters from Frozen. I haven't gone back to that, but, you know, it's always there. If we wanted to. Um... What was I going to say? I don't even remember now. Oh, right. Um, one thing I would say about high production values is that even though, like, in, in, the, in the here and now, maybe it's not so important, but it's good to... It can be good in terms of future-proofing your videos. Like, for example, when I did the Deadly Premonition Let's Play, most people were not doing 720p videos because the equipment to do it was expensive. Most people were doing 480p videos. Um, so at the time that I did that LP, you know, doing a 480p LP of an Xbox 360 game, that would have been acceptable. But I really just wanted to, you know, record it at its actual resolution. And it was a good thing that I did because that kind of future proof the LP. It makes it a lot more watchable now to have the game running at 720 to have the videos running at 720p. Um, even though maybe it wasn't necessary to do it at the time, I'm happy that I did do it because it would, it would be kind of rough watching 480p videos recorded over S-Video of the game, if that's what I did at the time. So, you know, that's an example of it being a good thing to try to make sure that, uh, your, your tech specs are up to par when you're recording videos. Because maybe in the future, that'll help those videos have a, a longer, a longer shelf life. Next question. It's been four years! Why do you deny your fan base the sweet Real Steel content they so clearly crave? You know, I know, I have not been considerate to my fan base. Uh, I know everyone wants Real Steel. It's clear, like, it's the most popular thing on my channel. Why do I hold out on, on Real Steel? I mean, clearly, if I want those sweet YouTube dollars, I am going to need to just produce a Real Steel series, um, all versions of Real Steel, you know, get the 360 version out, make videos of that, get the Android version, because there is one, start making videos, because uh, that's what the people want to see. The, look, the numbers don't lie. Unless they do. Can numbers lie? I'm going to assume numbers cannot lie. And the numbers say what people want is real steel. And I know I've been holding out. But, you know, I just haven't really been all that interested in playing real steel. Despite its overwhelming popularity. 
Cut slow. Also face cam. Oh, I got an idea. Face cam, but in the face cam is another game of Real Steel. So you've got Real Steel playing on the big screen. In the corner, you've got a face cam, but in the face cam is just more Real Steel. Me look, innovation. Innovation and let's play. It's You're hearing it right now. You're hearing it right now. You can play another game in the face cam. Has anyone ever done that? I don't. I can't remember anyone doing that. You LP a game in the face cam while you're LPing a second game. Can you imagine that? Can you even comprehend such a thing? Well, I think that I've got an idea. Of course, uh, I'm going to try to have to come up with innovative methods to fill up the screen with as much real steel content as I possibly can. Can pillows is the face cam going to be Hugh Jackman? Oh man, if I could get Hugh Jackman to guest in in the face cam while playing Real Steel. Could you imagine it? Maybe in the in the face cam I could have the movie playing and maybe it won't actually be taken down by YouTube because it's just like a tiny square in the corner of a video. I wonder if that would work. Or if maybe that would not even hold against YouTube's uh, content ID system. It would still recognize the movie and take that thing down. Because the worst crime you could actually do is putting scenes from a movie on YouTube. You can't do it. You will be killed, put to death is the penalty for that. Don't risk it. Next question... Is the real reason you're splitting up YouTube videos to maximize on views and that sweet, sweet YouTube ad revenue? Like all the other professional AAA pro e-gamer YouTubers. Oh no! I've been exposed! I've, I thought I could keep this a secret that the reason I was splitting up the stream was that sweet YouTube money. Uh, my, my plan was to, you know, over time cut the stream into more and more videos, making the videos smaller until, like, the stream was cut up into 10-minute videos. Like, if you have a three-hour stream and the videos are 10 minutes long, let's see, that's 180 minutes, you can make 18 videos out of that. Imagine all the revenue. Oh, man. That's sweet ad money, posting 18 videos, and they all get, it's like getting duplicate views. Oh man, this is a brilliant idea. Why, I can't believe that I've been exposed by this astute questioner on Tumblr.com, and now I cannot go through with my nefarious plan. Spade Samael, but wait, YouTube Red money comes from people watching longer videos, not more of them. It's true. YouTube Red has this weird calculation of how, um, how long the YouTube Red video... How much time the YouTube Red subscribers are watching videos and then taking the amount of time per video and then the amount that the YouTube Red subscriber is paying gets separated out into those percentages. So if the YouTube Red subscriber is watching like some particular YouTube person for a lot longer than anyone else then like all like the majority of that money is going to be going to that person. Uh, Drowsy were asking would I ever consider doing YouTube Red? Do you mean doing subscriber only shows? Uh well no. I don't really I, w I wouldn't really want to do that. Like even if I was doing something like um uh, a Patreon or whatever. I don't like the idea of doing subscriber-only content. I mean, I know that makes more money. I know that gets more subscribers because, you know, you're given exclusive content, but I just like people watching my videos and streams. I just, I just like that, so I wouldn't actually want to make premium exclusive content behind a, behind a paywall. Not really interested in that. So I, I see Kindred saying that you want to see me voice act the anime girls. I was not w reading the conversation up that led up to that line. Apparently Kindred wants me to voice act anime girls.
So now we got a conversation about ad revenue going. Yes, ad revenue is a fun thing. People on YouTube are very concerned about it. They're yelling about it all the time, talking about how YouTube Red cutting into their revenue. Um, because, you know, since the, the num just the view numbers themselves don't really matter with YouTube Red. I think Retsis just asked, what is my favorite Batman or Superman movie? Who asked that? Yeah, it was Retsis. Um, let's see, my favorite Batman movie, probably Dark Knight. My favorite Superman movie? Uh, two. Superman 2. I don't really expect that under Zack Snyder's expertise, I don't really expect that he is going to end up making something that I would consider my favorite Batman or Superman movie. Somehow I just feel that way. Have I ever played any Blizzard game? Oh, only the best of the Blizzard games, uh, Blackthorn, which was a side-scrolling, like, action-adventure game released on, uh, the 16-bit systems, as well as the PC. I played the PC version, but Blackthorn, of course, well-known to be Blizzard's, uh, best and longest-lasting video game. Actually, it quite... It might actually be possible that Blackthorn is the only Blizzard game I've ever played, which is kind of funny, but I'm thinking about their other games, and it might be the case that I haven't played them. Koala Spoons, have I considered playing the Tex Murphy games? Uh, they certainly do seem like games I would be interested in playing, so maybe they could show up someday. Drow Zebra, am I the innocent preppy anime girl? All the game's developer studios seem to have e eaten each other, so you can't recall who made what. It's true. There has been a lot of, uh, a lot of merging, a lot of unmerging. Pillows, no answer. I don't know what, what was the question. Oh, yeah, Tango Bunny, we just need to get wait to get to 2032 before we get to the T-Games on the DOS stream. It's true, we it's going to take a little while. And it is going to take a little while before we actually get to the T's. Someone at... I forget who it was. Maybe it was on YouTube. Someone asked, when we get to ZZT, does that mean that we are going to play through all of the ZZT-made games? Which is going to be quite daunting. But ZZT will, I think, be the actual last game on the DOS list, so I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Aret says, how long will it take us to get through DOS? As long as it takes, baby. As long as it takes. Well, uh, it is getting kind of late, so it might be time... It might be time to say goodnight. Titanium Kitten, am I a fan of Chris Jericho? I've been a fan of Chris Jericho, though I have not been very compelled by his recent work, honestly. Well, I haven't seen his AJ Styles stuff. I haven't seen his feud with him, but, uh... I haven't found Chris Jericho to be all that interesting in some time. Though I, I do like... I have enjoyed his work. But, Chris Jericho aside, um... I hope everyone had a good time. We put aside DOS for a little while, for like a week, so we could play some some animes, play some Stella Glow. So we could, so we could tune some girls. Tune them. We're gonna tune them. We did that, and then that took long enough that we didn't play any DOS games. Then we played some Escape from Bug Island, and I guess made a little bit of progress, but not all, not all that much. Really wasn't all that much. Not not all that much happened, so hopefully more happens next time. I don't know if it will, but hopefully. We still do have one more stream for the month of April. 
Um, and then, of course, the last Saturday of April, we have our traditional break at the end of the month. But we do have a, uh, another stream next week, of course. However, there is one more there is one more question that I'm going to have to answer before we leave for tonight. It's the most important of questions. It, this came in right before the stream, and I had to address it. It's time for me to stop pussyfooting around and answer the tough questions. Who is my favorite Sailor Scout? I don't think this is even a question. How could you even ask? Sailor Jupiter is the only sailor. And with that, I hope everyone's had a good night. I hope everyone will have a good week. I'll see you next time for video games.